Hello, my hearties. A very good evening to you, Dinky Doo. It's just me, Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag float high, saying welcome, welcome, welcome to our Tuesday night pop up just after nine o'clock in the evening. Now, is this a good time for you? Do come and tell me. How lovely to have you all with us and a big dinky do to every single one of you. I'm assuming that most of the football's finished now and uh, that some of you will have a little bit of time available to come and join in tonight's discussion and debate live on TikTok Live. You can't beat that. Remember, never to scroll and never to troll of course very very important if you've just joined us a very warm welcome this is scotty mcclure live and tiktok just for you dinky do thank you matthew oi 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 andrew oi oi to you i say from me scotty mcclure lovely to have you with us and dinky do and oi oi to everyone of course from andrew tonight how amazing is that that gives us a great start now these tiktok lives are becoming very 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 popular so make sure you share it did you do thanks andrew yes indeed much appreciated make sure you share the video make sure you follow us if you haven't already done so and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that scotty mcclue is live on the big one this is the one everyone's talking about this is the one that everyone is watching tiktoks talk talk show welcome 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 i say how amazing is do come and join us. There we go. And uh, welcome, welcome. Hi, it's the Calendar Man. Hello from Calendar. Yes, lovely to have you with us. And thank you do from me, Scotty McClue. Always fantastic, guys. Much appreciated. Thank you do, Scotty. How are you? J Dog. How good to have you with us. Now, J Dog, you'll know, is the football completely and utterly finished now? Or, uh, or are we still going head to head audience wise with the football? That's what I wonder. You tell me. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, excellent stuff. No, very good, J Dog. And I hope you are well and uh, having a very pleasant holiday. Very important that. Yes. Thank you, Zazandra. Excellent stuff. Wonderful stuff. So we can get on with our chit-chat. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. That's what it's all about. Not all, but most of it. Aha! So is there still something going on on the telly that I should know about? My mom says, what radio station were you on? She remembers you in the 90s. The bra Scotsman. We were on Scott FM, Scotland's finest radio hour, I say. Scott FM, dinky do, excellent stuff. Hashtag float eye. Thanks, Scrag. Very much appreciated. And a big dinky do to you, of course. I love, I thank you, RKV, dinky do. Dutch Talk, dinky do. Maria Knights just joined us. Lovely to have you with us, Maria. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop up. I'm never sure which is the best time in the evening. Is this too early or is it too late or is there never a right time? Is there always a right time? Uh, I'm very well, thanks, says J-Dog, just taking a much-needed break from school. Hope you're keeping well, too. I am J-Dog, and thank you very much for asking and for all your support. Very much appreciated. So there we are. Now, uh, who have we got here? I need your help, my dear. Right, RKV? Uh, what do you need help with? Uh, Andrew just uh, went on somewhere else, you see. Very important. Uh, can you blow a kiss to my mum, says the Bra Scotsman? Of course I can. To the Bra Scotsman's mum, a dinky do <laughs> from Scotty McClue. Lovely to have you with us. I think this is the right time. It allows people from all time zones to join. J Dog, you are a sharp cookie, sir. Excellent stuff. Aye, aye, Scotty. Fools your dues, Marty. Fay the northeast, Fay Berdeen. My dues is fine. I just chaffing away, you can, Marty. Can fit its like out there, you know. There we are, man. It's tough, it's tough, man. But uh, but uh, we're bra, we're bra. And that's what matters. Did you hear some softies the day of your breakfast? Or did you hear rowies? And were they crisp? Very important. 
Hello, Captain Adam Dinkydoo. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Very, very important. We uh, have a very big following already, but we need a lot more. Not everybody has followed, if you're telling me the truth. Am I correct? So please follow. Dinkydoo Waffles. Ah, does Oz. You're a Waffles man. Good for you. Uh, I'm nearly finished for the summer. Excellent, Rowan. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Adam, I don't give out uh, full names like that unless I actually know the whole lot. Good evening, Scotty. What's this evening's subject? Very, very interesting evening subject tonight, Stephen. We've been talking about how important the monarchy is to Scotland, especially if Scotland's looking for independence. J Dog Gaming, what are you doing, you generous man? Five TikToks. And uh, my mum went to the toilet. Could you do it again, please? Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, to the bra Scotsman's mum, who's just come back from the loo. A dinky doo from Scotty McClue. <laughs> dinky doo from Misty Lerwick Scotty. Yes, indeed, big Viking. Good to have you here. Can you MC, youngin? Oh, MC like it's going out of fashion. I have MC'd so many things in my life. I've lost count of them. I've been emceeing for 40 years, running the nights, the theatre, television, radio, you name it, McClure's your man. There we are, dinky-doo, excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say so much to talk about, so little time to do it in. Go on then, give us an MC, pal. No, no, an MC is introducing an evening master of ceremonies. There you are. Evening, Scotty. What do you think it means to be a man? To be a man? If you want to just be a man or to be a gentleman. If you're going to be a gentleman, then you need to learn the rules of the trade. Very, very important. But what it takes to be a man is to be kind, to be gentle, to be thoughtful, to uh, not let people off with the wrong information. So there you are. All these things. Yes, bloke, for Cheltenham. Ah, excellent stuff, Cheltenham. The Gold Cup uh, for Cheltenham or from Cheltenham. Cheltenham in Gloucestershire. Very, very nice. Yes, I had friends used to stay there in uh, in the Close. Is that right? Is the place called the Close in Cheltenham? There we are, right in the city centre, I think. Uh, so there we go. Who have we got here? Michelle Mitchell. Not Michelle Mitchell. Dinky do, Scotty. Al Barnes, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome. Fantastic. Get sharing. Good evening, Scotty. Sending hugs and kisses. Wolf plays. You are such a topper. Very, very much appreciated. Lovely, lovely person. Good to have you with us. Now, Tonight, we're asking about the importance of the monarchy in an independent Scotland. There's one for you. It has got a evening, everybody. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thanks, mind my, mind my washing machine. Very, very important. Good day, good day. Username, by the way, we like that. Mend my washing machine. Follow us as soon as you come on because we're wanting to build up the followers big style. Excellent stuff. And uh, always good to have you all with us. Thank you very much. Creative Terror has joined. We like that. Remember, never to scroll and never to troll. Nobody scrolls past Scotty McClure and nobody trolls Scotty McClure. How about that for the big one? I love it. We did pop up earlier today and thousands of you have watched it. I do like that. It is marvellous stuff. Hey, my man. Hey, Archie. Dinky do, dinky do, Angela. Always good to have you with us, and welcome, welcome. I see your little portrait along the top line there. Can you guys see the top line? Uh, dinky do. Hello, Scotty. Do you like the cricket, bro? I like the cricket, but I don't really know very much about it. It wasn't one of my sports in school, so there we are. I haven't quite, uh, I haven't quite gathered. What goes on there? Whereabouts are you, says Wiki the Lazy Cat. I'm uh, on the west coast of Scotland. Lovely to have you with us. Also, Scotty, do you support a soccer team? I support lots and lots of soccer teams, but none financially these days. Scotty, your broadcasts are so amazing. I never knew you had TikTok. 
There you go. What about that? Welcome, welcome. Share this video, guys, as soon as you can. Hello, lad. Hello, lad, Donnikin. Good to have you with us, lad. Excellent stuff. Hi, says Jack. Hi, Jack. Good to have you with us, and dinky do. Hi, everybody. Your internet was freezing last night. I know, Angela, I think the platform were having challenges, to be quite honest. That's why we abandoned ship. There we are. I hope it's better tonight. Good evening, everybody. I'm currently in Glasgow. Dear Solomon, you lucky, lucky girl. That's a fabulous place to be, and dink you do to dee. Share the live as soon as you can. Thanks, Donican. And have you all followed? Very, very important. Now then, you should be able to see this if I hold it up. There we are. Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag float I. Follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClure. Have we all got that? And you will also see... What you will see is the uh, TikTok videos, so get on to them as well, please. That's amazing. Excuse me a second. Little bit of a comfort break. Woo oh, it is so warm in this studio. Uh, summer nights, da -da -da -da. There we are. Scotty, can you tell me a bit about Scottish war history? Well, which war are we talking, mend my washing machine? Hashtag float eye check. Yes, first lord of the internet saying dinky do to every single one of you. Never a dull moment, I say. Uh, when are you back on the radio, Scotty? Um, I left the radio about a year ago because they wanted to do love songs at the weekend. I was on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night for a couple of hours, 10 o'clock sharp till midnight. But uh, they wanted to do love songs, so I said, yes, press on with that. If that is your wish, it is your station. World War II writes the stories about World War II. Well, one of your biggest regiments uh, was, of course, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. And they had a wonderful commanding officer called Major Lorne Campbell, who became Brigadier Lorne Campbell. And Lorne Campbell was from Argyle itself, and won the VC. So there we are. I remember Lord Campbell very well, and he was known as uh, Brigadier Lord Campbell VC. Tremendous guy. So there we are. Are you Jewish? Well, D, I embrace all the world's great religions. Fantastic. We hate love songs. We just love hearing about people with love story problems. I know, Wavy. And uh, I think I can see great things for Scotty McClue live on TikTok. What we're doing is just building up. We've only been here a few weeks and people are getting to know about it. Once everyone on TikTok knows about Scotty McClue and every single one of you can be helping here, then we will be on to big time. So get it shared. We love Scotty McClue. We love Scotty McClue. Oh, we love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Share the video, please, guys, as soon as you possibly can, because uh, we have a lot to get through tonight, and the time will just fly. I know this from old. I think to myself, well, an hour's a long time now. Shout out to Ryan. Thank you, do Ryan. Thanks for sharing, sharing the live, everybody, and uh, very much thank you for following. Lovely. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. Never scroll and never troll. If you scroll past Scotty McClue, you miss a moment of life. If you miss a moment of life, then how good is that? So there you are. You miss a moment of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. Don't do that. Stop here. This is the one for you. Uh, hi, are you having a good day? I am having a good day, MT. And thank you very much for joining us, Dinky Doo. You're live on Scotty McClue. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. TikTok's top talk show. Uh, now, the world is your oyster. Sean, I genuinely believe it is. There is a huge market for proper talk on the media. And the present people, very, very few of them are actually doing it. I heard a so-called talk station the other day, and they were just shouting at their audience. 
They weren't talking with them. Good evening, Scotty. Would you like to go into space one day? Oh, I've been into space, Robert. Amazing feeling. Right, you should start your own station. Well, Wavy, that's a very, very good idea, but there are so many stations already out there, and of course you need money to get started properly. The only thing is because we're taught we're not paying for music, so that's a good idea. But I would love to play some of my music to people. I know they would enjoy it. Hello from Antarctica. We love you in Antarctica, dinky do. Are you with the mission out there Tell us more. Spill, I say. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, First Lord of the Internet, and I am saying dinky do to you. Uh, now, who have we got here? Bashran has joined us, and Kanye has joined us, and Luke has joined us, and the Jen has joined us, Art has joined us, Hot has joined us, Nuko has joined us. That's very, very good joining, guys. Well done. I can get you a transmitter off eBay. Wavy, you're very good. And I just send my serious concerns to three players who received abuse on Sunday. Yes, you can. Nobody deserves that. If Scotland goes independent, will you start your own station, Scotty? If not, we've got you here. Well, we've got you here for the news. You don't deserve all the trolls trolling because you're the first lord of the internet. Absolutely musical. No trolls are allowed here. They are very quickly toast and sent. Doon the swanny. We love that. Big up, Scotty. Absolutely will. Big up, Scotty, because it is happening. This is the big one. Fantastic. It's not come home this time. Well, it did come home, Angela, but it came home to Rome. So if you're from Italy, Italia, then football has come home. You know, I mean, somebody's uh, somebody's leaving home as another person's home. Lenzok, how's things, Scotty? How are you, Lenzok? How are you getting on these days? Because I know you've been having a tough time. Do you feel a bit sorry for England and Sunday, Scotty? I must confess I did a little. Robert, yes. I mean, I'll tell you what I didn't like. Some half-witted idiot on another social media platform had posted, uh, you know, tonight's the night we fight the filth. Now, that to me is very, very, very low-life gutter snipe behavior. So I was very unimpressed by that. The English are beautiful people, a lovely, lovely race, and we love them. There we are, dinky-doo, and the Scots love them as well, except for the half-witted idiots. How's your day been, says Susie Babe. Susie Babe, how was Cumbernauld? We are dying to know. Uh, I'm trying to manage, Scotty, but I feel destroyed. Well, Lenzok, inner strength, time to push all sense of destruction back, and you fill that void with you, because you're a lovely guy. And there's lots of you to do that. So let's start working on that. Then we can look at how other people are treating you. But you are the strength. You are the inner strength. You are not destroyed. All right. Very, very important. Now then, you, can, you can't mock how England did. That's from a Welsh man. No, they did very well. And I mean, Scotland, even when Scotland lost, they played very well. They came second, you know. Uh, do you think if England voted for independence of Scotland, they'd say yes? Oh, yes, absolutely. Press, bring it on, la. Bring it on. Will we see aliens within the next five years, Stephen? We've seen them on here trolling. There we are. How do you notice trolls so easily? Because they're very rude. They've either got a dodgy username or they say something of about half a dozen things. You know, one is, what's your profile? One is, do you work in, and they mention a supermarket. Another one is, um, do black lives matter? Uh, another one is using a lady's name. That's a way, way, way out of date joke. Another one is just saying rude things, not understanding that this is an absolute top, 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 top live. And, uh, you know, if you want to be part of this, you need to be a good person and on your metal and aware that we're guests in people's houses. 
So there we are. So you spot the trolls very quickly. We toast them and send them down the swanee. Uh, we, so, yes, we might see the aliens, Stephen. You never know. What's your definition of aliens, though? Uh, we do love them. Our histories are intertwined. We do, Robert, very much so. And, I mean, England is a beautiful, beautiful country. You know, I have, I mean, I feel Scotland would be better rebuilding its own economy, hanging on to its own income. Uh, you know, but having said that, I do despair at some of the people who want independence. There's some with a very, very low IQ. And we need to watch that. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, this is where you lose out in referenda. Hello, Scotty from the Kingdom of Five. Chick. We love you, and we love the kingdom of Fife. dinky do Ken. There are fits like, uh, again, again, a grand time in the kingdom. Scotty, your lives keep me going. Thank you. Lenzok, not at all. This is for everyone, and you are a very much valued member of this family. You've been around since the early days of Scotty McClue Live on TikTok just for you, dinky do. I tell you. I've done my shopping with two crazy kids in tow. Lol, had a, had a, and you mentioned a famous hamburger joint. Yum, yum. Well done, Susie, babe. A lovely day, and uh, the kids are just amazing because they're yours. There we are. Share the live, everybody. Follow me if you haven't done so. Dinky-doo, thanks for the live today, says Sabah. Sabotage. Lovely to have you with us. No problem at all. Welcome, 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 I say. If we go independent, we'd still trade with them. If they don't want to, that's their loss. Robert, we are their biggest trading partner. That's why they won't let us go. We are a cash cow, a golden goose for Westminster. Otherwise, they'd have cut us loose years ago like they did with all the other countries. Doing the swanee with the haters, just enjoy soccer without the hate. Geodog, there should be zero hate, I say. I've been on another social media platform and I've been posting uh, facts and truth and back comes idiot, halfway lunatic, all that stuff. Oh yeah, take the tablets. All these dafties that don't understand. Can't speak the Queen's English. That player should have got a red card. Do you believe in ghosts, Wavy? I've uh, not seen one, but I've experienced one. Yes, I believe in ghosts. Unhappy spirits. Needing sorted. Yes, indeed. I'll tell you a ghost story. If you uh, scroll down my live videos, get on to TikTok Live and have a look. Didn't you do? What do you think of being a firefighter? Well, Alex, it is a very, very noble profession. There's a lot of skill required. You need to be very fit. You need to be strong for giving people a fireman's lift. You need to have a great deal of wisdom, and uh, uh, you need to be able to slide down the greasy pole. I don't think you have to go back up it, but, uh, but there we go. So have a think about that. Yes, I'm all up for that. I've known many fine firefighters. Is the earth flat? This is what we've been discussing, Ben. Is the earth flat? There's a lot of people saying it can't be round because if gravity was spinning it, then all the seas would just, uh, you know, get flung out outwards. Yes, tell us what you think. I love your vids. Have a good day. Thank you, X Random. You too, Dinky Do, I say. Greetings. Share this video as soon as you possibly can, guys. Uh, don't scroll and don't troll. If you're scrolling, stop and uh, give me five minutes of your time because everybody should experience a proper live on TikTok. Do follow us as soon as you can, guys. Sounds like we need a new William Wallace. Well, Saba, the last one died quite a long time ago, so we probably do. Uh, wonderful stuff. Unionists worry about losing heritage, family, citizenship. Won't lose any of these things at all. No, of course not, Robert. Uh, Robert, you're a very wise man. You've looked into this, I say. Greetings to you. If this is a talk TikTok live, we're going to have certain topics in the future to focus solely on. Uh, yes, are we going to have certain topics? Would you like that or would you like as the audience to set the agenda? 
I don't mind. There's the wonderful Kareem from Glasgow saying thank you. See, Scotty McClue's TikTok Live is something of a blank sheet. We only started it because the news was so depressing. The mainstream media is failing you. Have a scroll through your television channels and there will be almost nothing you want to see. Patronizing nonsense. Put on your radio and you will be dictated to what playlist you are supposed to be listening to. People then go, nah, I'll do it myself with Spotify or something like that. Okay, the new Scotty McClue, Eddie Boy. How are you getting on from Downham Market? Is that right? <laughs> Have I got it right? Fantastic. Uh, so there we go. The racing. Uh, racing. Yes, indeed. Greetings. Diggory, where are you from, says Harold? I am from the universe, Harold, but I'm uh, from the west of Scotland. Scotty, I've been checked out for PTSD as well. Well, yes, Lenzok, with some of the things you've seen, but I think you need to start healing you as well. I know it's a big ask. I know it's very difficult because you feel a bit thin in the ground, but we'll help recharge your batteries on here. Very important. Did you know, Scotty, under the Vienna Agreement, we can set up our own currency or bank anytime. Yes, indeed. I've always known that. There was a top financier said, if Westminster don't play ball, Scotland will take its oil and just push off. You know, hi guys, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Greetings to you, dinky do. My only concern about independence, there's one or two of the, the simpler souls murmuring about a republic now if they don't shut up then uh, independence is toast it just won't happen because you never ever ever meddle with the crown but you can split parliaments not a problem there we are greetings to you thank you dear. you look like the hobbit i thank you very much i take that as a huge compliment if i'm as successful as the hobbit then we are in business big time Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Hi, Scotty, you have a tan. I know. I've been working in the grounds of McClue Towers. Is this God, says Ella. Ella, believe it or not, no joke. I have been asked that before. Are you God? I said, no, no, no. God's, God's much more senior than me. Am I seeing the creator? Ella, you could be. It depends what you see in me. Maybe I have hidden powers. Do you believe in smurfs? Uh, I haven't really smurfed, to be honest. Greetings to you, dinky do. Ella, you're going to be sent doing the swarry. No, dear dog, that's okay. We'll see how she goes. Hi, Scotty, dinky do, Liam. Uh, dear dog, I'm too high. For this, says Ella, not at all. Scotty, dinky do, says Liam. Welcome, Ella. Yes, indeed. I will share the live five times. You're wonderful. Have you followed? We need to get everyone following, guys. The following and the, the sharing is poor, and uh, also the liking is poor. So get liking. The earth is not flat or round. In fact, it's slightly oblong. Geodog, you're a very interesting man, you know. Somebody told me the other day that the earth was shaped like a pineapple. And I thought that was interesting. Greetings from Northern England. Tyler, we love you in Northern England. Whereabouts are you? Because they will all know Scotty McClure. Thank you, Kareem, for 10 beautiful TikToks. You're a very, very generous man and a proper gentleman. Our Kareem, a wonderful man. Share the lives as soon as you can, guys. Follow us as soon as you can. Who's not followed? Uh, there we are. Excellent stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sharing, everybody. Good evening, my child. Uh, good evening, IP. Lovely to have you with them. Mainstream media is a business of manipulation. Well, on here is not. So you make this your mainstream media, watching Scotty McClue live on TikTok. Dinky-doo. TikTok just got better.
Who do you listen to on the radio? I haven't listened uh, to anybody recently. Uh, well, no, I have. That's not entirely the case. I've listened to some talk shows so called, and they're very, very poor, and their audiences reflect that. Oh, now then. It's roasting in the studio. I had to have a mop down there, a comfort break. Uh, I'll tell you what I used to listen. I was a big BBC Radio 2 fan in the days when it was big. And they had presenters like Ray Moore in the early morning, followed by Terry Wogan, followed by Ken Bruce, followed by Jimmy Young, followed by Judith Chalmers, followed by uh, Steve Wright. Uh, you know, followed by, um, oh, who was in the afternoon with the evergreen years, John. Oh, he was fantastic as well. That's terrible. It's just gone out of my mind. Um, John with the evergreen years. You know, I mean, these were amazing days. Alan Freeman, all these terrific characters. I love our wee Jamie. Fantastic, David. Dinky do, says Geo Dunn. Geo Dunn the Bart. Yes, indeed. Wonderful to have you with us, Geo Dunbar. Thank you, do from Scotty McClure. And no Scotland, no party. Yes, lad, absolutely. Maria Knight, thank you for sending me big love. Maria's just sent me 10, 10 big loves, Maria. You are such a beautiful, thoughtful, generous lady. Thank you, do to Maria. Uh, super Scotty McClure, thank you, do amazing. Lovely to have you with us, Adam. Scotty, I won a huge trophy for being top goal scorer on my team. Will, I am very, very proud of you. Uh, there's such a nice environment on these lives. Tyler, it is. There are beautiful people coming on here. Okay, a little handful of trolls who are used to trolling, uh, you know, think they'll turn up. And, of course, immediately they are toasted and sent doing the swanny. So it really is people of a very high caliber and great quality who are on here. I could tell you, Maria Knight, thank you for a lovely TikTok. Yes, there is a very good ambience on Scotty McClure's TikTok lives. Well, Scotland's never been a republic, Scotty. We declared Charles II right away on Charles I's death. Yes, we did, Robert. You're 100% correct. And what the poor souls can't get their head round is the Scottish monarchy is 2,347 years old. So it didn't start with Kenneth MacAlpin. It started with the ancestors of Ri, R-I, Ri, Alba. So have a look at that, or Al-Baha, as they were calling it. Long before he took the throne, absolutely. Nothing wrong with republicanism, says Robert, but it won't create utopia. You still have social divides. Well, the problem is a breath, a whisper of republicanism and independence is dead in the water. You know, it just will happen that way. And, um, of course, you're also isolating 50% of your audience because we need to encourage all the we need to encourage the monarchy and all the loyalists to support independence which means that they will march under the salt tire and not under the union flag because it will no longer be extant simple as that viva italia Viva Italia, Frankie Beverly, si, bella, bella, bellissimo. In nature, the most ergonomic shape is to pack mass in spherical, hence the planetary shapes. So a sphere, now spherical, do you mean exactly round? Is a sphere exactly round? Or could you have spherical oval? Do tell us. Saying evening to Birdie. George, of course, you can say evening to Birdie. Dinky do. This is the best mainstream channel in the world. Susie, baby, you are such a beautiful person. I just think you're gorgeous. Mwah! I'm in new market, Scotty boy. Not down a market. My mistake. Do you know, Eddie boy, as soon as I said down a market, I thought, no, it's not. It's market, but it's, and it was new market, of course. I do apologies. Apologies, a scusa, scusa, in Italian. Uh, what 
you have with the crown is purely ceremony and pomp, and an odd dirge is no harm at all. But Robert Scrimminger, yes, but it's actually a lot more than that. You see, the the, tra the tradition and the heritage is very small now, and it's worth its weight in gold. I mean, the likes of the tripping of the colour, you know, I mean, that is, is huge, watched all over the world, you know. A royal wedding, oh, paid for itself as soon as it's announced, you know. Wonderful. And I mean, the, the royal family are virtually self-financing. So, uh, I mean, I can tell you, they bring in about two billion and they cost us 168 million. What's not to love about that? They're also Scotland's greatest asset. Her Majesty the Queen is the uh, the um, head of state for Scotland, our sovereign lady. And uh, also, she's the curator and custodian of the crown. And that's huge. That's our symbol of authority, the way America's got the stars and stripes. So what are these dafties on about? Good evening, good evening to body, says George. Yes, indeed, George. Hello, Scotty, how are you, sir? Pray for South Africa, says Leon. Leon, we pray for South Africa every day. I included Pretoria in my hashtag today from this morning's catch-up. Have a look at it. It's only three minutes, and uh, you can get a bit of catch-up on there. Have a look at every single one of Scotty McClure's TikTok videos. Can somebody be dispatched to go and like? We need to get these likes up. Because during the football, the likes fell slightly. And also, the follows fell slightly in terms of, not in terms of total, but in terms of the number of people following and liking during the show. Scotty, what's your favourite beer? Well, Saba, I don't drink alcohol at all now. I gave up about six or seven years ago because I like to drive at any time of the day or night. So there we are. Popmaster with Ken Bruce is iconic. Ken Bruce is iconic. I've known Ken Bruce since 1979. And the man is a legend. Also an incredibly talented and funny man. And a very, very fine broadcaster. So there you are. So you tell Ken Bruce I said that. There we are. Fantastic. Scotty, do you like Sydney Divine? Well, sadly, Sydney is no longer with us, but I do have his CDs behind me, and I knew Sydney well. Interviewed him on Radio Scotland. Wonderful guy, actually. Sydney wasn't just his solo act. He was a great radio broadcaster. He was also a very fine tourer in the early days with the likes of Robert Wilson and Kenneth McKellar. And people like that. Hello, how are you doing today? Python, where dinky do? Dunn. John Dunn. The evergreen years. Fabulous in the afternoon. Steve Wright's still on in the afternoon. We love Steve Wright. Excellent stuff. Huge, huge audiences. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. What year was that again? AM. Sure, I was 17, 18, so I'm 48 now. 30 years, yes. I've been uh, doing the Scotty McClue Nightline for 29 years last week. So that would be exactly right. So I came up in 1994 to Scott FM from Red Rose Radio in Lancashire. There you are. Fantastic. Thank you, Maria Knight, for my lovely TikTok. He says, I love you, Scotty. He, thank you so much. You're very, very kind. Guys, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Maria has sent me tea. Maria, you know me so well, and you know I would love a cup of tea, along with a finger heart. Dinky-doo, Alton Towers or m and We love them both. I've been to them both, and they are outstanding, Andy. So my idea would be to go to m and and enjoy that, and then have a trip to Alton Towers. Uh, hello, Scotty lad. You'll see me in the big chair at Alton Towers. I uh, say, honey, I shrunk Scotty McClue. Hello, Scotty lad. Go to war with Argentina? Certainly not, Benny. That's all done and sorted. Done and dusted. Scotland would not survive if independence was given. Rely on the UK too much for funding. I think the click guru, you've got that 100% wrong. But only 100% wrong. 
Uh, you know, that's not to say that you're that you're that you're not wrong, because uh, you're very very wrong. Scotland gives Westminster seventy five billion pounds a year and gets twenty eight back as pocket money. Scotland would do very very well because it would instantly have another sixty. £7 billion pounds in the bank per annum. Is that right? Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, I beg your pardon. 28. So if you take your 28 away from your 75, it would have £47 billion more in the bank than it's got. So it doesn't rely on England for funding. Westminster relies on Scotland for funding. Never bite the hand that feeds you, I say. So, yes, Scotland would survive very, very well. But what are we going to do with it as a country? That's what we need to know. If you're buying anything, the first question is, what am I going to do with it? If it's an old accordion, are you going to learn to play it? If you can't. If it's an old set of bagpipes, you're going to learn to play it. If it's a house, what are you going to do? If it's a big house with 10 rooms, are you going to make it an hotel? What are you going to do with it? You see? Wonderful stuff. And not making taxi driver money now. So there we are. Sorry about that, Ian. Taxi drivers. Yes, indeed. Dinky doos of the taxi drivers. You guys used to be loaded. Enjoying the sunshine at Port William, says Kyle. Wonderful, Kyle. We love Port William. Port William lifeboat still anchored in the bay there. Uh, a liquid bubble has the least surface tension. Hence the early earth accepting a spherical shape. Now, tell us this, Geodog. So it was a liquid bubble uh, before it all solidified. Tell us this then. Uh, I did ask you, is a sphere always completely round or could you have an oval sphere? I went to the national park near where I live. It was raining and I saw three endangered species. What did you see, Sean? Amazing. Yes, out there. Have you got lizards in the desert? What kind of creatures have you got in the desert, Sean? Tell us more. Are there alligators and crocs in Arizona? I love waiting for your lives in the evening, Scotty. Thank you, Alex. And dinky do. Everybody's welcome. Did you ever meet Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh? No, I didn't personally, but I know a lot of people who knew him very well. And I remember sitting at a dinner, and this chap made the assumption I knew him as well as himself. And he said to me, well, as you know, Prince Philip has good days and bad days. And I thought, I don't actually know. So there you are. So I haven't met Prince Philip, but, uh, but uh, I have met his son. That's, uh, that's his son and that's Scotty McClue standing beside him with the kilt on. Yes, indeed. Do you remember that? Fantastic stuff. Hello, everybody. It's an oblong shape deriving from centrifugal force. Geodog, now you're talking. I used to have a moped with a centrifugal clutch. Do you remember that? Bit glitchy, Hen. Who is? You are. Uh, Somebody's glitchy. Scotty, I'm your biggest fan. Hashim, it's very, very kind of you and a very warm welcome. Greetings from the Ruffles in Carlisle, like, eh? Well, we love Carlisle, don't we? You know, and I know Ruffles very well. Yes, indeed. And uh, I know Haribi, Haribi, and Butchaby. Fantastic. And I know the Ruffles. Yes, so I love you guys in the Ruffles in Carlisle. Dinky do, I say. You, do you ever go doing the Warwick Road? Do you ever go doing past the Carlisle Infirmary and doing to the Biscuits Factory? Lovely stuff. Uh, have you been to St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome? No, but I would love to go. I would love to go. A friend of mine, his son was in Rome with his school and they were playing the bagpipes on a Sunday morning. And then overcame, I think it'd be a member of the Swiss Guard, and said, could you come with us, please? And they were taken along to meet His Holiness the Pope, who said, bring the young bagpipers, the young Scottish people. And uh, 
My friend's son has got a picture standing right beside his holiness. How amazing is that? Uh, so there we are. So I'd like to go because Bonnie Prince Charlie is buried in the Vatican. King Carlos, he is known as. I like the radio. The one I listen to is Clyde One. An excellent choice, Sam. Yes, I hope it's all going along as it used to do. Uh, I used to listen to Clyde One. I do like George Bowie. Uh, I like George on Clyde One. I've worked with George. And I can remember um, Paul Coya on Radio Clyde. Who else was on Radio Clyde? Tony Curry. Uh, I can remember... Um, Bill Smith on Radio Clyde. I remember Doogie Donnelly on Radio Clyde. They were fantastic people. Amazing. Tiger Tim on Radio Clyde. How good is all that wonderful stuff? And dinky do, I say. And dinky do, Scotty McClure, do you remember me? Westworld, who could forget you? Tremendous stuff. Scotty, I'm after Glasgow this weekend. Woohoo! Greetings from the Ruffles. Fat like. Hello, darling. Hello, dinky do. I saw three Gila or Gila monsters, which are large orange and black venomous lizard. They're extremely rare. Yes, do you have things like the iguana? There we are. Uh, there's a lot of reptilian life. Earth is on its axle. I think you mean its axes. It spins on its axes. <coughs> Hi, Scott McClure, dinky do. Hi, Holly. Lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We're discussing the shape of the Earth. Amazing. The Earth is slightly oblong in shape due to centrifugal force, but gravity prevents disintegration. Is that the, does the gravity keep it spinning like a gyroscope, though? What keeps it spinning, Geodog? And if it's spinning, how come we're not all flung outwards? Who's winning the Open this week, Scotty Druske? I can't tell you. If I do, if I do, the television company would not be happy. I can't wait till I feel better, Scotty Lenzok. You're going to feel better very, very soon. In fact, you're starting to get better now. This is the start of the rest of your wonderful life. And you are Lenzok, a lovely thing to be. There you are. Uh, so, dinky do, Scott McClure. How do you do, old chap? Very well, Kenny G. Thanks for joining us. Scotty, hello from Windsor, home of the cold streams. We salute you. Her Majesty's Guard is ready to march off, ma'am. Tremendous. I remember standing at Windsor Castle. each 3 nt we don't do pronouns on here. We are all inclusive. Pronouns are divisive and old-fashioned. Your bait material, Carson, you're so very kind. Uh, what do you think of a United Ireland being soon? Well, I don't know now, Sean. Uh, you see, I don't know that the Tisoch and the Dial will want to pick up the tab for the North. But there's no doubt that uh, the British government have flung the North under a bus with regards to Brexit. So there you are. Brexit was very damaging. You know, and I heard the Prime Minister saying today that we were going to have a 350 billion deficit. Now, 250 billion of that is Brexit. You know, and who was the biggest advocate of Brexit? Who was shouting and bawling, let's get Brexit done? There you go. Uh, now, who have we got here? I don't know, Kenny. That doesn't ring a bell. Your favorite singer, Kenneth McKellar, Kathleen Ferrier. Tremendous. I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Norma Proctor. Beautiful voices. Amazing voices. Susan Boyle. Beautiful, outstanding voice. Lovely person. Hello from Kentucky. We love you in Kentucky. And we enjoy your fried chicken. Scotty, I've been going to the gym for the last days. Yes, Lenzok, all these things help. But it's to get your wonderful mind on track. And the only person that can really do that is you. Doctors can give you up and down pills. 
but the most important person is you. You're a very, very, very valued member of society. You know, it's so important. Thank you, dear Scotty from Ilkley. Ilkley, not this hat, but one of my hats was bought in Ilkley at the Outfitters in the Main Street in the town. And then I went, I put it on and went along to a wee pub at the foot of Ilkley Moor. And I thought, well, at least I won't be on Ilkley Moor bat hat. And a guy came out, he went, hey, look, it's Jack Sugden. Because at that time, Jack Sugden was very, very big. Clive Hornby, wonderful actor, uh, was very big on Emmerdale or Emmerdale Farm, as it was known as then. Amazing stuff. Hello from Aberdeen. We love you in Aberdeen. Guys, has everybody followed me? Please get following. How does the earth spin on its axis, says Andy. Hello for Aberdeen, fit like up there. Just speak a Doric, telling you that. Uh, we're all grand here, you know, we're just chaffing away. Chaffing away, who's your dues anyway? Uh, now, who we got here? Most famous person you've ever met. Well, um, the most famous person I've ever met, I have met so many famous people. It's quite difficult to say who is the most famous, you know what I mean? Um, I've just been very fortunate in being introduced to all these people. It's through through no doing of my own, I hasten to add. Uh, so there we are. But we used to see all your top bands came into the radio stations. And I remember a friend of mine, he was a, a lovely avuncular character. And he had um, some very lost young men in his studio. They came into him and said, can we sit with you because we don't know what to do. We're waiting to be interviewed. And this was on one of the ITV stations. And he said, yeah, of course you can. So they talked and chatted away. And uh, I think he bought them a cup of tea and a bun. He went to the canteen and got them a tea and a bun. And they chatted away and some of them were doodling on sheets. Then they went for their interview and thanked him profusely. And um, that was the Rolling Stones in the, the very early 60s. Isn't that interesting? So there we are. So that was my old friend, bought a cup of tea for the Rolling Stones. I'm sure they'll remember him. What was it like to meet them? It's very interesting, Alex, because, I mean, obviously people are just people. But um, sometimes when you see people off screen, they're not quite the same as they are on screen, you know. And, of course, I'm just the same whatever I'm doing, you know, it's that. The mind is very hard to fix, though, isn't it? No, Lenzok, the mind can be fixed just at, uh, at a tiny, a tiny movement. Just the right thing, the right trigger can fix the mind and start the healing. And once you accept that you are the good guy and start to rebuild your life, your mind will start fixing. Everything will fall back into place. It's like somebody's dropped a jigsaw that was already completed and they've stood there and they went, OMG, look what I've done. And they pick up all the bits. And as you know, when you pick up a jigsaw, it still it all keeps on falling to bits. But then you can lay all the pieces out on the table and put it back together again. Nobody's any the wiser. Isn't that amazing? So there you are. So you are now at the jigsaw stage. Pick up all the pieces and start putting them back together. Beautiful. And love every piece. There is love in every piece. The mind, uh, so that's the mind for you. What was it like to meet them? Uh, it was just interesting, various things. But as I say, very often your real talk people will just have general chit-chat. I mean, I remember meeting a world leader. And, um, you know, he looked over and we nodded and he went, Hello, how are you? And I said, I'm very well, sir. Lovely to see you. And we shook hands. You know, and I could see all the security around going, <laughs> Hello from Central Lansing in Michigan. We love you, Kenny G in Michigan. Fantastic. Dinky do. Hello. Scotty, I like the hat you've on, my friend. 
I've had it for 29 years, a real top hat. Uh, the early earth was hit a glancing blow by a giant bolide, brackets, thera, close brackets, giving it its spin. Do you know, I've never heard of a bolide or a thera geodog. Am I the most ignorant man on the planet? I ask you. I love your badge. Thank you very much. The Scotty McClue badge. These badges are very, very sought after. Uh, we will uh, put them out as merch when you all make me TikTok famous. You're like that funny history teacher. I thank you, little Teehee. Do you remember Mario Lanza? Very much so. He played Enrico Caruso in the movie, didn't he? Mario Lanza. Yes, I used to actually buy Mario Lanza records. I loved these high tenors. John McCormick, Mario Lanza, Kenneth McKellar, beautiful high tenors, you know. Sidney McEwen, Father Sidney McEwen from Scotland. Wonderful, wonderful, famous tenor. Wonderful that on the high seas, his autobiography. And uh, who else do we know? Luciano Pavarotti and um, Placido Domingo, Jose Carrera, you know, all these wonderful performers, tremendous. Uh, do you watch the Euros? Uh, not to any great extent, to be honest, but don't tell anybody. That's between you and I. Uh, there we have it. Scotty, how was your day? I hope it was a good one. Say a Scottish tongue twister. Try to imagine an imaginary manager managing an imaginary menagerie. A giant bolide struck the early earth, a glancing blow, imparting the spin. Right, Geodog, I shall now have to go and look into this. Stop giving me homework. <laughs> uh, do you watch it? Uh, say a tongue twister. I've just said one. There we are. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. A cricket critic, a cricket critic, a cricket critic. Say these, round and round the rugged rocks the ragged rascal ran. She sells seashells on the seashore. Somebody said to me, what does your wife do? I said, well, it's quite hard to say, really. She sells seashells on the seashore. There we go. The impact ejector reassimilated and formed the moon. Geodog. I don't know if I've ever had an ejector. How amazing. Tremendous stuff. By chance, do you know the clan that Bryson, that belongs to Bryson? I'll check it out for you. It could be any sort of uh, name, similar name to Bryce. You see, Bryce and Bryson. Do you have a favorite podcast? Hey, Andy, I'm not really big on the podcast because I'm either working very hard but um, either doing that, when I say hard, I mean, don't be impressed by it, you know. Uh, but I'm either working very hard or I'm live on um, TikTok or I went live on Facebook. You can see it on the TikTok videos. We did that for you. Tremendous stuff. I love it. Scotty, are you happy because England lost? No, I don't have that kind of thinking. Are you just waffling, mate? Am I waffling? Well, what's your interpretation of waffling? 50,000 hours of live broadcasting. Two billion people know me. So if I'm waffling, it's obviously a pretty good waffle. There we are. Do you like a waffle yourself? Right. I'm going to have to dash, guys. We're out of time. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous, because it's a lovely, lovely thing to be. And this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Geodog tells me we know that the moon comprises mostly basalt and norite, rocks commonly found on Earth. Well, you go to Stirling Castle in Scotland, Geodog, and it's built on basalt rock rising out of a flat plain. How amazing's that? Right, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Take it easy, everybody. Thanks, Lens Up. It's coming to Rome. It is indeed Tommy. Tommy Chieska. <coughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. 
Good by everybody, a vita zane, au revoir, and a chili. Oh, Maria Knight, thank you for my beautiful gifts of good night. You are an absolute angel. That's lovely. Thank you very much. Stop at 30. Oh, my goodness, Maria's going on with the good nights. What are your pronouns? We don't do pronouns on here. We're all inclusive. Maria has sent me 40 good nights. How beautiful is that? Good night, Scotty. Good night, everybody. Good night, my dear friend. Good night, dear dog. Thank you for all your wonderful information. And stay fabulous. Is that where the geo comes from? The geology. Dinky-doo!